Okay, so if you have a smartwatch or you have a Fitbit, anything that tracks your workout, you will put on high interval training, or if you don't have that, a cardio based workout. Okay, so we will get started, and we're going to start on the spot marching, so driving the knees for 30 seconds. That one is 30 seconds of each of the Sorry. Oh. So high knees for 30 seconds. So you want to drive your knee up to your hip. So where you would normally bend over, we're driving that knee up to your hip. Good. So we have five more seconds and we're going to do squats. If you find squats are harder, take a wider stance with your feet. If not, hip width apart. All right, into squats for 30 seconds. So we hinge at the hips, sitting into a chair, squeezing the bum as we come up. Okay? Knees over top of the toes the whole time. 30 seconds of this. Then we're going into a step and touch. Just how it sounds, your step and touch. Good. Into step and touch. So step, out, touch. Up, step out, touch. So we're leading down. Sorry, opposite arm, opposite hand. That's my bad. Opposite arm, opposite hand. Full body engagement for 30 seconds. Then we're going to lateral jumps, which is side to side jumps. We can go slow, we can go fast. Good. Three more seconds and lateral jumps. So jumping from side to side. If you want to go fast, you can go fast. I like slow and controlled. It works on our balance and stabilizing muscles. Good. So we're going for 30 seconds. Then we're doing a walkout, or I call them interns. Okay. Now we're going into interns. So what an intern looks like is walking our feet out, our hands out to a tall plank. So into a tall plank, walking our feet back to our hands. So we do five of those. Let's go. One tall plank. Come all the way down. Back up to your hands. Keep your legs straight. Stand up in between. The straighter you have your legs, the more you will feel the stretch into the hamstrings back here. Maybe in the quads if we're tight. I think that's three, four. Good. And last one. And five. Good. And that's our warm up. Now we're going into our first set. So if you need a quick drink of water, take it. I am quenched today. Gorgeous. Mm. We're going into high knee jog, squat with the squat jump. So squat, jump, squat, up. If you don't want to do that, squats repetitively are more than okay. We're going into 30 seconds of that, and then we are going to do that again, and we'll watch the next set. Ready? So give us 15 more seconds, we'll start right on the 30 dog, I need equal numbers. <laughs> yeah, so tiny jog for 30 seconds, squat with a squat jump for 45 seconds, okay? Here we go, three, two, one, and go. Tiny jog, if you want to go slower, you go slower. Drive the knees up to hip height. Good. Great. You can get the arms and balls going from cheek to cheek if you want. 10 more seconds and we're right into squat work. Ready? In three, two, one. Squat jump up. Good. Push the ground away. Squeeze the bum. Land light on the feet. Good. At 10 seconds, we're going for 45. Get the bum down low. Good. Whoa. These ones burn. Good. That is five more seconds to go to our stopping at 30. Okay. 30 seconds, 10 second warning. Good. Whoa. And two more, sorry. <laughs> Good. 
and stop. Good, we have 30 seconds of rest. Then we're gonna do that again. Squat jumps are great. Full body exercise. Oh. The trick with that, get a water feed. Push the ground away. Trying to get your head to touch the sky. Good. 30 seconds. So my heart rate's at 144. If you have a good bit of a smart watch, that's a good thing. If you want it above 130, this is in the fat burning zone, but I also have more room to push. So I can go harder. That's why having heart rate measured is important when you have your workouts. If you have access to that, wear it. All right. Looks like our break is just about done. Here we go, guys. High knee drop. 30 seconds. Here we go. The legs are burning. Then really drive the knees up. Don't be lazy with it. Get it. Good. We have 10 seconds to go. Let's go. Then right into squat jumps. Good. And three, two. One and go. Squat jump. Woo. Stay as low as you can. Feet hip width apart. Push the ground away. Woo. Feel the burn. Good. Ooh. Use all that power to come up and push. If you can, regular squats. Good. That's the 30 second mark. 15 more to go. Good. Woo. Good. Keep going. Let's get two more. Two. Good. Wow. Full body. The 30 seconds of rest. Then we're going into lateral jumps and then walkouts. So those are terms. So we're gonna go lateral jumps for 45 seconds, walkouts for 45 seconds. All right, 10 seconds of rest, left to go, lateral jumps. You wanna go slow, you can. You wanna go fast, makes it harder. Here we go. In three, two, one, and go. Try to land in the same spot every time. Opposite arm, opposite leg, arm jumping. Push the ground away. Get tall. Good. 45 seconds of this, guys. You gotta push the ground away to feel those quads. I wanna feel the quads burn. Squeeze the bum too. Get the glutes involved. Good. Push. Let's go. 15 more seconds. It's a 30 second mark. Whew. Good. Don't get lazy. Three, two, and one. Walk out. Let's go. 45 seconds. Woo! I love it. Good. Tall plank. Walk it back. Come up. And again. Repeat. Keep your legs straight. Good. Come up if that requires your body to be fully up, using the core. Good. You're at 30 seconds. Good. 10 seconds to go. If you want to make it harder, you can add a push up into this. Makes it a lot harder. It's up to you. Good, and that's 45. We're gonna repeat that one one more time. Get some water if you need it. 30 seconds of rest. We'll get right back into it. Absolutely gorgeous. That's a good round. That was nice. That was nice. One more set of this, and then we go into halfway done the workout. Super quick, super easy. All right. Let's speed up these lateral jumps if we can. Starting in five, four, three, 
two, one, and let's get it. Push the ground away. The higher you go, the more muscle you're using. It's not so much about distance as opposed to height. If you fall, touch down quick, back up. Rest. Good. Keep going for 30 seconds. 10 more to go. Right now, it's five, four, three, two, and one. 30 seconds of inferns. Here we go. And go. No break in between the two exercises. Good. Walk back up. Keep the legs straight. Tall plank. Good. Core tight. Core nice and tight. We want to engage our core from every exercise. That is the core, literally speaking. Then, Etymology holds everything together. This is your main man. The stronger the core, the better everything else will be. Good. Keep going, guys. Almost there. And that is 45, we have 30 seconds of rest. Then we're going into a nice little butt kick. Really trying to kick the bum with our heel for 45 seconds. And then we're going into an alternating lunge. So stepping down, coming up, alternating, stepping down, coming up. You want to make sure not too close together. It's a lot of stress on the joints of the knee. Make sure it looks far as back. When you come down, 90 degrees, 90 degrees, core tight, chest tall. Okay, so we're going to do those 45 seconds each. Our break is done. And let's go. Five kicks for 45. Here we go. I like to keep my arms down. I just feel like feel my feet. But it's up to you. Go to the arms. You can get the arms in the ball too. Oh, she's sweating. <laughs> good. Lunges are going to be hard, guys. Super good for you, though. So don't stop. Don't slow down. The quicker you go. The better it is. Good. Ten seconds left. Good. And last. Not really last. Straight into alternating lunges. Here we go. So you go at your own pace. Good. The next set is a jumping lunge. So if you can't do the jumping lunge, you do the regular lunge. Jumping on just suck. Good for you though. The exercises you hate the most are probably the ones you should do the most. Good, core tight. Like I said, core is your main man. Always get it involved. Good. Stay straight. Everything is pointing one way. That's the 37 mark. Good, almost done, and up. 45 seconds of rest. I'm sorry, 30 seconds of rest, I'm gonna go again. Bucket, alternating, lunge backs. All right? Whew. You know it's good, because it's not too hard of a workout where you can't do it. It's a perfect little pump. So you want to make it harder? Do four rounds instead of two rounds. And you're gonna make that twice as long. You're gonna fatigue, it's gonna be harder to do. More gain. No pain, no gain. Increase the pain, increase the gain. <laughs> All right, guys, we're over our break. So that was the talk. Here we go, butt kicks. Let's get it. And then we're on the last set. It's so good, so fast. I love it. Good, try and kick your butt all the way up. Core tight, chest tall. Good. 
seconds of rest and going into the last set. Russian twist, jumping lunge, hardest set in my opinion. If you have weight, use it. I have no weights, but the weights I have are absolutely ridiculously heavy. So I'm just going to use my fist. Totally still a good exercise without the weight. But if you have it, I would suggest it. Starting at a five to 10 pound mark. So how you go, however it is. You really want to touch the weights to the floor. Okay, so Russian twist what you do, feet up, hands in a fist, touch your knuckles down to the ground and turn. You want to sit up tall as well. So you're sitting up tall and turning. This works on your core and your oblique muscles, these rib lines here. All right, let's get to it. 45 seconds. We're starting in three, two, one, and go. Whew. Keep the legs up, try not to let them move. The more you turn, the more oblique engagement you have. It's your stomach also, the side ones. Good, sit up tall. Good. These are hard. Keep going, we are at 20 seconds. If you feel like you're falling, adjust. Get up really quick. Try not to let your feet touch. Good. Keep going. We're at 30, 15, go. Good job. Push. Keep going. Three, two, and one. Ah. Those are silent killers. All right. Jump lunging. I might even go into regular lunges because I suck at these. Bad knees, guys. Here we go. Jump lunge. Here. Switch. You go as fast as you can. You fall. Pick yourself up. Those ankle injuries are coming back to haunt me. This is why these are important. Good. Try to pop up. We can readjust. Readjust. Good. We are at. We're at 30 seconds. Let's go. Good. And that is 45 seconds. Told you those are hard. Last set, strong set. Let's get it, guys. I said we're gonna do cool down. Get water to me. I do. Crazy one. <laughs> right, guys. Last set. Strong set. You make it as hard as you want. You want to do regular ones because you do regular ones. You want to do jumping? You go your pace. You can go faster than me. You go faster than me. Okay? Here we go. Starting in three, two, one. Let's get it. 
Last set, strong set. The mentality of it's almost done. Push through, especially when you're tired. Super important with lifting up. Good, just if you're falling back, it happens. We aren't perfect. Good. We are at 30 seconds. Keep going, five seconds left. Come on. And stop. Oh. They kill me. Let's kill me. All right. One jumps. Here we go. And go. 40 seconds. Good. Whew. Push through. Try and drive. Get height. Ooh, if you need a second, take it. Go. Ah, it's okay. Good. You're at 30 seconds. Let's go push. Ooh, my legs are burning. Good. Yes. That's 45. Good job, guys. Oh, that was hard. Those jump ones just get me every time. Okay, take it to the floor. We're gonna start sitting <coughs> up to the floor. Pardon? Did someone say something? All right, here we go. Butterfly, bring the feet in as far as you can. And then we wanna push the knees down to the ground. If you wanna get a bounce, you can get a bounce. It's up to you. This is the fun part of the workout. You need to cool down. Good. Awesome, awesome. So now we're going to get our feet up in front of us. We're going to get a hamstring stretch. This stretch is your inner groin, so you should be feeling it right here. Good. Stretch out in front. Shake it out. And touch our toes. Feel far you can get your hands to come all the way around your toes and flex your toes to your nose. You'll feel that more into the calf. Oh, when you're going to be tight up here. If you are, you'll feel it there. Good. Shake it out. Now we're going to come standing up, feet wide apart. What I want you to do is hang. Just hang over, bend in half. Now you're going to start to sway from side to side, five times each side. You can your elbows, you can your arms hang, whatever you like. Five times each side. Good. And just hang. Let your head get heavy. Shake it yes. Shake it no. Grab the back of your ankles. Lean forward. And try and bend in half. You're gonna feel this in your hamstring, in your back. Now walk your feet together. Good. Now we're gonna roll up one vertebrae at a time. Your vertebrae is the bone structure of your back. So you have a vertebrae, each disc called a vertebrae. Come up, let your head roll up last. Head comes up, shoulders come down and back. Then we're going to grab our hands from behind and stretch out our pec muscles to our chest. Good. Now we're going to take a couple arm swings. We're going to hug ourselves. Hug yourself. Tuck your chin to your chest. And a couple deep breaths. Good. And we're going to do a couple arm swings again and then switch the grip. So whichever hand is on top. Switch it. Good. Awesome. A little circle, neck circle from side to side. Ear to shoulder. Good. We're done. Good job, guys. So we burned 
that workout. In 25 minutes, you burn 208 calories. That's insane. That's so short. And that's including our warm up and our cool down. Look how much I'm sweating. Guys, does it need to be super hard? Or does it need to be super, super crazy difficult? Or does it need to be super long to get a good amount of workout in? Okay? If you have questions, message me on the Seneca Performance account and I will help you. Have a good day and I hope you enjoyed it. Take care, guys. Look how I'm in